All right, so we've got our Smart Notebook opened up, we have it aligned, and we're ready to start exploring some of the functions and features of the program. The first place we're going to have a look is we're going to have a look at the file menu. Well, the file menu, it can be found on your Mac along the top bar and in the PC in much the same spot. If you're familiar with using Microsoft Office or any sort of Microsoft Office product, you'll know a lot of these file options as well. There's your new, your open, your open recent where we'll show some of the previous documents you've been working on and all of your save options as well as printing. Under edit, same idea, you've got your undo bar, you've got all your cut, copies, pastes, all of those items can be found under the edit menu selection from the file menu. Under view, you can have a look at different toolbars. So you can turn on or off different toolbars like the gallery or attachments, which would show up on the side. Or you can have a look at going into full screen mode or zooming from say 75% what we're at now to 300% to see more of the screen. Again, we probably want to be zoomed in a little bit less so that we can see what we're working on. But that's played done by playing around with our view bar here. Then under insert, we have the option of inserting things like links, tables, sounds, questions if we're using our Cinteo remotes. But basically all of these options uh, can be inserted into our presentations to make them more interactive. Then we have our format toolbar. This format option allows us to edit any of the op objects that we put in our presentations. So as you select an object, you'll see that more format options are open to it. Let's have a look at this. I'll select an object and go to format. You'll notice now that there's a lot more options for me to select from. Whereas if I don't have an object selected and I go to format, a lot of these are left transparent so if I can't use them. Then we have our draw toolbar where we can choose anything we want to draw. We can draw certain lines. We can draw shapes. We can use different types of pens and different options from the draw toolbar. Then under window, we can minimize, we can bring it to the front. Same thing with PCs. If you're using a PC, the window options allow you to layer your windows, perhaps going back and forth between an Internet Explorer. And then of course we have the always helpful help bar. This is different on a Mac from a PC. Uh, on the Mac you search right away. On the uh, PC toolbar, you have different options for searching the help files very useful resource for them. Now I just very quickly showed you every possible tool that you can use for Smart Notebook just by going along the file toolbar here. If you're ever lost looking for something, if something ever is deleted from your other toolbars, you can always find it in this toolbar along the top. So that's the file menu. I'm going to make my star a little bit bigger to show that, hey, we've covered that. Moving on, the next toolbar that we have to have a look at is our panel toolbar. Along our panel toolbar, we have a lot of the different items that we would more commonly use in the classroom and things that we would more commonly use while building lessons. We can go back and forth between pages using these arrows. This moves me to my next page. This moves me to my previous one. We can add new pages using the add page button. We can open a file and save it. By the way, save early, save often, and save in at least two places with everything that you're making, though I'm sure you know that. We can go to our clipboard, which will show us items that we have copied or cut from other documents to paste on. We have our undo and our redo button, and of course our delete button, which would delete any item if we had it selected. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and delete file menu since we're done using that. We'll delete that star. It's gone. And if I want it back, I'll use the undo button. Basically, a lot of playing around can help you navigate the first few format tools here. Also in the toolbar right next to the delete button, we have a screen shade. We have a full screen option, which will bring us into full screen. We have a split screen mode which will allow us to navigate two pages at once. We have a screen capture toolbar and a document camera toolbar. 
Now, if you have a document camera attached to your smart board, we can get into that in the advanced program. And we're also going to see a lot about the screen capture toolbar in podcasts a little later on. There is also the insert table, the select option, and a few of our other pens and tools that we'll commonly use. I'll get into that toolbar a lot uh, in a lot more depth and detail as we move on in these podcasts. For now, we're just doing the rundown of the basic interface. So there we go, that's the toolbar. Let's put a star on there, or a happy face, as we've completed that. Of course, we'll make it a little bit bigger so we can all see. The next bar to look at is our tab bar. Our tab bar is along the side. What we have in our tabs is we have some commonly seen features. We have our pages. So for instance, I have all of this on one page. That's my main screen. I have another blank page behind it and another blank page behind that. You'll notice that it automatically names our pages by the date and time. If I want to rename that, I can rename it to anything I want. It's a good idea to name your pages something meaningful, especially if you plan on keeping the lessons. So that's the page viewer. I can juggle pages around just by dragging and dropping them. I can add new pages by either using the add page or by selecting the drop link here and inserting a blank page or cloning the current page that I'm working on. Or I can just straight up delete some of the pages. So let's delete a couple of these pages. We only need the one that we're working on right now. There we go, we're left with our main page. The next tab down is your gallery. This is where, if you've selected to download a lot of the options, where you'll find pictures, multimedia, and other things that are preloaded and pre-made for you to use in your lessons. The gallery tab is very useful for finding things that have already been created or for saving your items that you think are special that can be used in more than one place. Further down is our attachments tab. If we have any video, if we have any music, if we have any other type of file that we want to link to our presentation, we can store them and sort them and arrange them in our attachments tab. We'll get to that a little later. Probably the most important tab is our properties tab. And very similar to our format menu option that we had, our properties tab will only talk about properties for a selected item. Let's go ahead and select some text and see some of the properties that we can change for the text. So I've selected the text and instantly my properties tab has switched. Rather than having two options, I have five options. I have fill effects where I can adjust the transparency of something. I have the line style where I can adjust the color. I'll change my text to red. I have the text style where I can change font. Of course, if I had something that was not text, I wouldn't have this font option. But let's give that a quick change as well. And of course, I can change the size, style, and every other option of the text. Here I can also add animations. Now these are very similar to PowerPoint animations, and you'll get a lot of practice with these further on, and we'll actually go quite in depth with these in a podcast later on. But you find your object animations underneath your object properties toolbar. And we also have page recording as well, which again, we'll learn in another podcast. So there's a quick exploration of the basic notebook software system. The things that we covered today are the file menu, the toolbar, the tab bar, and this last item, the main panel. Well, this main panel is what I've been working in. This is where we're going to add all of our options. This is where if we go to full screen, this is all that we see, our main panel. Our main panel is where we can draw, our main panel is where we can add objects and where we can have some interaction with the students on. So we'll say we covered the main panel here as well. So there's a brief introduction of the four main panels for Smart Notebook 10.